your secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried about What's good, everybody? It's your boy, the Dog Manny, and I'm back with some more VG news. I know I've been kind of lacking on this, and some of these you already know about, but hell, I'm gonna cover them anyway. <coughs> Let's get to it. Resident Evil 2 Revelations will feature uh, will feature a returning protagonist as in Claire Redfield, along with the new character, my Mora Burton, daughter of Barry Burton. If you guys remember Barry, it was an awesome guy in the first Resident Evil with the long ass magnum that blew the zombie's head off in the first shot. Fucking classic. Anyway, according to Game Master, they reported that thing. Uh, the upcoming release will reportedly include a single player and co-op campaign, kind of like Resident Evil 6 and 5 or whatever, whatever, with Burton providing backup to Redfield. Um who is now a seasoned zombie killer. Sorry, kinda lost my place on that one. Uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2 takes place between the events of Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 and sees both starting characters kidnapped and trapped on an abandoned prison island. The primary enemy are named the Afflicted. That's kinda weird. Uh, they may look like zombies, but they are quite different. You have to gamble on taking them up close or keeping their distance. Resident Evil Revelations 2 is coming to PlayStation 4 and other platforms in early 2015. Also, on a side note, added news, whatever I came together, it will be released in fucking episodes, kind of like Watch well, I'm Walking Dead. I don't know how the hell they're going to do that because they said they're going to make discs with it. But, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. You know. Um, <clears throat> with the release of The Sims 4, the fourth major installment of The Sims franchise, and given how many titles have been released so far, The Sims 5, or hell, even The Sims 6, will automatically be in the future sites, right? Well, not really. Because the future depends on the fans of the game. What do you mean? Well, I'll tell ya. Yes. According to Maxis, it seems like Sims 5 might not happen unless The Sims 4 does well. Uh, this is according to the gamer's producer, Grant Roderick. I fucked that all up. On the Sims, on the official Sims forums, he quoted, We are not working on The Sims 5. We're not thinking about Sims 5. If Sims 4 isn't successful, there won't be a Sims 5. Unquote. Of course, with the recent releases of The Sims 4, The Sims 5 is far from people's mind, and the changes in Max's visual improvements to the game draws gamers in. The game topped off the number one spot in UK charts, though, so The Sims 5 may look promising. But with all the changes they did in the fourth one compared to the fifth, the third one, again, me playing to myself, I miss a lot of shit from the third one. I want to, I go back to the third one occasionally because it's fun. You get to drive. There's no loading screens. It's not just four little boroughs you can just go to. It's a whole damn city. But whatever. I like the fact you can drink cereal, drink orange juice and eat cereal and watch TV at the same time while talking to somebody, but hey, that's that, I guess. Uh, Rocksteady confirmed back in June, Batman Arkham Knight release date was delayed until 2015, and that set everybody into a frenzy. Yet another delayed game for the year of gaming in 2015. Uh, for a while, like more Combat X, the release date was not confirmed until now. The game will release on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on June 2nd, 2015. That will make it an entire year since the delay was announced in June 2014. Uh, this is um, this is a solely next-gen title, so no PS3 or 360 gameplay um, games will come to come to you guys. So you can take a step back. You already got Borderlands. What more do you want? Um, the pre-order page for the game has been published online, so. You know, you can go in there, reserve your copy. Uh, you you have like a uh, half a year to get it, I guess. If you want that thing? Whatever. And the last little bit of news, we can we can keep rolling in with this Grand Theft Auto news. Um, with Rockstar Games still quiet about the details on the next gen Grand Theft Auto Five, you'll be happy to know something seems to be moving indeed. Grand Theft Auto Five on the PlayStation Four was priced at forty nine ninety nine. On the USA PS Store. 
this is hopefully an indication that they intend to apply a small little discount due to the game being just a port like last gen versions. Kind of how they did with La Last of Us, you know, $50. Uh, this, yeah, um, but the rumor mill was supposed to be released in November. That also now has a release date of November 18th, and I was right on the money with that one. I put money on the 18th, and it's coming out on the fucking 18th of November. Uh, the PC version will come out January, I think, in 2015. I don't know the exact date for PC. I can care less. But, hey, there you go. And that concludes this episode of VG News. And, as I always say, game on. And if you want to check out any other news, especially Red the Photo Related, because I've been hitting that topic for a while now, hit that link and check out the other episode I had. I think I touched on that a little bit. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Too many news. Uh, huh, I'm out. Later. Hey, everybody. As always, thank you for checking out another one of my videos. Hit right there for the previous VG news. Um, get a, get a little bit of insight on certain stuff. And right here, check out the last gameplay that I have done. I plan on doing. I do series of stuff like that. And um, hit that subscribe button to check out way more videos that I have. I have a lot more, and I will be doing a lot more too. So, as I always, say game on. Manny's out.